Good morning and night, guys. My name is Miss Sunshine. Welcome back to more of the Walsingham Files Chapter 2. Okay, so remember from the last part, uh, we came across the murder scene. There were two victims in the car. The driver was decapitated, um, and it was a man and a woman. In my mind, I'm still thinking it's uh, the Prestons, the one that that Diego guy went to go and visit. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we just got back from the lighthouse, the birdhouse. Um, and the paramedics are here, so we're going to learn more. Come on. Are you done investigating? I think we have a clear picture of what went down here. Very good, sir. I'll let the paramedic teams in and get the bodies out. Any news about the plate numbers from DVLA? Yes, I received a call not two minutes ago. The vehicle was registered in Manchester and belonged to... I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I said it. That's exactly what I said. I knew it. I knew it. Ian and Ada Preston. Did I call them Preston? What did I call them? Patterson? Preston? I don't know. But I flippin' knew it. I called it. Still got my notebook. Pat Preston. That sounds so familiar. Why do I know those names? Because their 11-year-old daughter famously went missing over a decade ago. I need to call Diego. Mm-hmm. Of course you need to call Diego. Of course you do, because it was him who did it. I think. I don't know. MI6 Safe House, Precise Location Sensor, Massachusetts. Oh, that's right. I'm going to bed now. We're back to... Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't really... Am I going to bed now? Did I go to bed already? Um... Okay, no time for TV. I should find Mark. That is if he hasn't disappeared on me again. He hasn't. He's probably waiting for you. Uh, that's okay. I don't think... I think that sounds wrong. I best stay away. Let's go into Mark's room then. I'll be quiet walking past. He needs his rest. Okay, fine. Um... Ooh, before I go in the kitchen, let's take this opportunity to go in here. Locked. There's a cold thing. I wonder if this fireplace is connected to the chimney or whether it's decorative. I'm not sure if I saw a chimney outside. Who knows? ID needed for entry. Oh, what secrets are hidden beyond this door? I'd love to know. Yep. Me too. Me too, girl. Feels kind of weird sitting here in the living room watching TV, especially knowing that this place is really a secret operation center. Eh, uh, you know what? Oh, you're both here. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Sarah. How did you sleep? Like a baby, thanks. How was your pizza last night, Sam? It was good, thanks. Pity you old folks were already asleep when I got back. I'd have offered you a slice. So chances are you will retire after your passionate lover's reunion. You know what? She is hilarious, and I love her. Sam, that is very inappropriate. It's okay, Mark. She only says these th types of things because she's jealous. <laughs> jealous of what, may I ask? Okay, let's call it, ladies. We have something much more important to talk about this morning. What's up, Mark? Tell her, Sam. You, tell her. You, tell me. Okay, got it. While I was at Giuseppe's waiting for them to finish making my pizza, I happened to see John Brigham come by to pick up a pie of his own. That was the guy from the last one. Isn't that the guy who we had to get into his locker or something? I think. Of course, I told him after he left the shop to follow him to a small seaside town a couple of miles east of here called Crow's Bay. Let's write that down. Okay. Let's see, John B. Let's see, Crow's Bay. Gotta write down everything. I messed up last time, and the last game didn't really write down anything. So I kept getting confused by a lot of stuff. I'm gonna try my hardest to n not take so much time apart in between recordings and also write stuff down. He entered a large complex surrounded by guards, so I couldn't follow him any further. We took the address that Sam found and checked it against local property records. The property is under the name of Gustavo Lopez. Okay, let's see. Gustavo 
Lopez. I actually know someone named Gustavo. You just call him Gus. He's a really cool dude. Let's see. Catalina. Lena's young brother. All right, excellent. Who is Catalina Lopez? Sorry, I forgot you're not fully filled in on the case. Oh, okay. His wife. So, which means he must have had a mistress, maybe. Maybe. You see, so you think that John got spooked by everything going down at Warrenville and is staying with his brother in law for the time being. Actually, we suspect that the house really belongs to John, but was given to Gustavo as a gift of sorts. What makes you say that? We checked Gustavo's tax records and he claims artists under employment. Not a lot of artists own houses, like the one I saw in Crow's Bay. You never know, he might be a successful artist. I've seen paintings go for millions of dollars. Normally dead artists get that type of money. Granted, there are a few living ones that do make that type of bank. Living artists that fetch that type of cash are normally very famous, so we checked the records of Christie the Sotheby's? Gonna say that that's the correct name. And other major fine art auction houses. And surprise, surprise, he hasn't sold a single painting with any major auction house. So you're saying that Gustavo is essentially fronting for John? Or he is just claiming to be an artist, but is instead employed in a less legal form of employment. So claiming to be an artist, but probably a drug dealer. Hence why there would be the whole weed thing that we learned about back in the other episode. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. This might be a cover-up. Let's see. Very interesting indeed. So what's the game plan? We need to break into his house and see what we can learn. Wow. Being a spy is much easier than being a te detective. No need for warrants from judges or due diligence or anything. Due diligence? What's that? It's not as simple as that, Sarah. There are repercussions for cavalier actions and such. Ooh, did someone say Mombasa? Sam, what are you talking about? Shut up, Sam. <laughs> what happened in Mombasa? That's a city in Kenya, isn't it? Oh, Sarah, here you thought your new boyfriend is a perfect James Bond type when actually he's more of a Mr. Bean type. Ugh. You know Mombasa was just as much your fault as mine. Anyway, Sarah, I know I know officially I should just ask you to hide out here until we sort out the issue with the MSP. But knowing you, you'll just escape anyway, right? Looks like you do know me pretty well. Care to join us in Crow's Bay to investigate John and Gustavo? Of course. As if you had to ask, I'm pretty sure that this is all related with me getting framed for bribery. That's right, that's what it was. I think in one part, I think in the very first part, I said we got framed for murder, but I couldn't remember, so it's bribery. Okay, good. Good, let's get going. Crow's Bay is half an hour drive from here, so there isn't a moment to lose. Not a moment to lose. Let's go. Oh, I'm controlling all of them. Okay. Play Sweetum. Mark, he's here. Who's here, Blake? Peter Smith. He's Hendrick Dubron's passport flashed at Boston Logan Airport five minutes ago. I guess he didn't know that we have his Dutch passport in the system, too. With all fairness, he hasn't used his South African passport in months. There's too much going on, okay? I don't, I don't know. This is our chance to get him, but we need to get moving now if we're to catch him. Right. But we also have this great lead on John, and I think he doesn't know we're on to him this time. You're the CEO on this one, Mark. You need to make a call. I know, I know. Hmm. I know it sounds risky, but I think we should split up and pursue both leads. Understood. Is Oksana arrested? You know, Oksana, get her, get her a pack of cigarettes and an espresso and she's good to go. Where is she right now? She's in Lynn, just 20 minutes from Boston Logan Airport. Okay, it's decided. 
You, me, and Oksana will go after Smith. Tell her to go ahead and get into the position. We should be there less than 40. Sam, go with Sarah to Crow's Bay to investigate the lead on John. Mark, please let me go after Smith. I have a score to settle with him. Ooh, what score? No, Sam, I'm not letting you initiate another mad, okay, quarrel style gunfight like you did in Mombasa. Ooh, I want to know more about Mombasa. We have to do this as clean as possible. They're no fun. Load out, Mark. Oh, load out, Mark? Smith's men are going to be heavily armed, so M16s and Jericho's for you and me. Tell Sana to bring the M42 this time. She needs to get used to it. Will do, Mark. Alright, Crow's Bay. Alright, Sam, are you sure it's okay for us to park here? Yeah, from what my GPS is saying, it's just an old archive. So it's a government building. I'm pretty sure they expect a certain amount of guests every day. Besides, you're a cop, right? Just tear up any ticket that we get. Firstly, that's not how policing works. And secondly, you seem to forget that I'm kind of a fugitive right now. I can't go around behaving like a cop, can I? Hmm, that's a good point. We should probably get you a disguise of sorts at some point. For now, I think we're good. I haven't seen a single cop in this sleepy town. So what's our game plan? On a drive-in, I'm pretty sure I saw two big blokes guarding the entrance to John's mansion. We get to... If we're to get in, we'll need to get rid of them first. Let's do this. You distract them with your ladylike charms, then I'll shoot them. That's a terrible idea. That is exactly right. That is a terrible idea. We do that in a sleepy town like this and every resident will call the police. Jeez, I was just kidding, Sarah. Lighten up. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Somehow I don't believe that. Anyway, you promised Mark that we'd do this cleanly, and I, for one, will not stand to watch unnecessary violence. Fine, whatever. We'll try to enter in a sneaky fashion if it makes you feel better. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Let's be sneaky. Should we just go right in? Yeah, let's just go right in. I don't know. Crow's bait. Okay. Yeah, let's go in. There's a person here. Hello, person! Good morning. Welcome to the Crow's Bay Sea in Space Archive. I'm fine, thanks. Just doing some research for my... Dis Wait. Th I didn't hear her say, how are you? Okay, whatever. It's fine. If there's anything I can do to help, please do not hesitate to ask. Thanks. Right on. By the way, I still love the music. I'm happy that they kind of kept it from the other one. Gemini Landings. Um, maybe not. Battle of whatever that is. No. Part 3. Maybe we should go in order. Uh, no. What does this one say? Man Lunar Landings. Let's just read all of them. Whoa! Okay. Where's my phone? I'm going to take a picture of all of these. Every last one of these for the simple fact that I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it again. I am going to need it again. So, being a good detective here, okay? Great detective. Let's go. Let's read this. Cool. Yep, yep, yep. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. Boom. There we go. Another picture. Awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, look at that again. Okay, I thought I saw a name I recognized. Oh, wait, let me let me go through and see if I can recognize any of the names. No, no, okay. Let's try this one. Yes, yes, yes. That's another John, but that's a different one. Alright, cool. Gonna look through all of them. Uh, I'm taking a picture of all of them. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I got this, I got this. Guys are probably like, why is she doing this? Because evidence. Proof that I read it even though I didn't really read it. There's another John as well. Hmm. Okay. 
I'm looking at the names more more than like the ships and everything. Hmm. All right. Cool. So now what do we do? Uh. No. Hmm. Is that it? Is that really all I have to do? Uh. I am. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Let's see if she knows about the note. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the note. Oh, wait, they don't know about the note. Oops. I forgot, they have no idea about the note. Okay, cool. Um, where are we going? Oh, that's right, we have to get rid of the guards. That's right. That is right. I almost forgot. I don't know where the guards are. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Is this it over here? Ooh. That big mansion behind the guards and gates. That's where you saw Br Brigham go? That's right. Those guards look tough. I think we need a plan. Easy, I'll just shoot them. Sam, you cannot go around shooting people, honey. That's not how we do things. Sam, no. I thought you promised Mark that you do this up cleanly. <sighs> Whatever. Okay, cool. Well, guess what? I think I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'll save it there. And I think I am going to go ahead and end it here. We'll take out the bad guys in the next one. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be super, super, duper cool. So... Yeah, I'll see you then. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me for this. And until next time we meet, stay sunny side up, guys. Bye!